how do you feel about that? It's so stupid. If you like weird and unique things, today we have a video for you. Welcome to the interchange of Highway 70 and the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Welcome also to the joy of trucking. We're going to take you through Breezewood, Pennsylvania, where this strange anomaly has happened. Apparently in 1940, the Pennsylvania Turnpike became the first U.S. superhighway uh, where you had no railroad crossings or stoplights. It was a 160 mile stretch of just drive your car. The Turnpike paralleled U.S. 30 and would create interchanges at places where US 30 came close to the turnpike with the easternmost interchange being Breezewood, Pennsylvania. So businesses sprang up starting with hotels in 1941 and then gas stations and restaurants and diners. It became a busy little place for tourism in the 1950s, 60s and 70s. As the interstate highway system developed, Highway 70 was built to connect with the Pennsylvania Turnpike. However, there was a law in place that would not allow the interstate to pay for the actual connection to any kind of toll highway, so they could not pay for it. And the Turnpike did not want to pay for the interchange because it was going to cost them a lot of money and they were already afraid of all the revenue they were going to lose with the development of Interstate 80, so they uh, refused to pay for building the interchange. So instead, whenever you're driving east or west here, you have to get off the highway, come on to US 30, and then get back onto the other highway. Not a direct interchange, but this bizarre little stretch through this little town of Breezewood, Pennsylvania. As you'll hear, we did not know any of this when we arrived, but now you do. So don't be surprised when you encounter a stoplight on I-70. Yeah, this is where the highway goes right through the town, right? Yeah, because you're getting on the toll highway. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. The highway we're getting on, the red light. The highway we're getting on, we went under it a mile and a half back there. Instead of doing a simple clover leaf. And bring it through town? How do you feel about that, Kevin? It's so stupid. <laughs> A waste of material, fuel, time. But you get to sightsee these oh, lovely... Look at, look at all the gas stations. Gas stations. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Bob Evans Hotel. High rollover area, she said as we're approaching here, probably because people, despite the signs, are like, what's she talking about? What happened to the interstate? <laughs> Where's the interstate? I mean, that's why you're on an interstate, so you don't have to do these traffic lights and stops and this and that. Yeah. You take the interstate right into the town. Take the road on the right. There's no need. West. You cross the highway a mile and a half back. You could have just put a, put a ramp in. Right. 
Did you smile? We are back on the highway, back at 65 miles an hour. But it was really interesting to see Breezewood, Pennsylvania, to learn about what happened here. We hope you enjoyed it. And what's interesting too is that the town really sprang up around this interchange with US 30 and the Pennsylvania Turnpike. So uh, it had its heyday. Sadly, now it is actually in decline because travel habits have changed. But if you get an opportunity, please do stop, look around and take in the uniqueness of this place on the American road system. All right, with that, give us a thumbs up, put your comments and questions below. Have you been through here? What do you think of this? And if you want to continue discovering the roads of America and learning about trucking, please do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell if you haven't done so yet. With that, we wish you a great day with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.